I would like to know how to build a culture uh, and make the employees apply this customer centric mindset. You know, it's it's really hard to 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 make all the company uh, uh, do this think of the same way, right? We know that that's really uh, important and it's becoming one of the most important uh, strategy for most of the companies. And you know that you know, uh, we know that customer experience or user experience are, is related to people, all right? It, mm -hmm. In the end, it's all about people. Uh, I'd like to know how to build a culture uh, and make the employees apply this customer centric mindset you know it's, it's really hard to 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 make all the company uh, uh do this think of the same way right yeah it, it there's there's two ways of looking at it uh the best way is to hire for culture in other words hire for hire people that believe in what you believe in now, sometimes it's difficult. I get a lot of times with my clients that I'm coaching and helping, particularly in the small business arena, they already have a culture and now they're trying to change it. They want me to make them create a Disney-like culture. Well, you can't just fire everybody and start all over. But the key is to make sure two things happen. One, you make sure people know what it is you want them to believe in. What is it that you stand for as a business or a company? And it's kind of like, you hire people that, that believe that, that believe in you. I'll, I'll give you a good example. At Disney, um, before you even fill out an application to work for Disney, no matter what job you're applying for, you have to watch a video. And in the video, it explains what the Disney culture is all about. In, in Disney's mindset, it's all about making people happy. That's it. You know, Whatever job you get, you apply for, you work at, your bottom line is you got to make people happy. And they tell you, if you don't want to make people happy, this isn't the right job for you. And in fact, they'll even go even further. They'll tell you that you're going to work when other people play, which means you're going to work on weekends and holidays and your birthday. And then they tell people that um, the expectations are extremely high. And uh, you may not even get Christmas Day off because it's the busiest time of the year. And they go through all that to make sure that people realize that this is a serious job and I got to truly want to make people happy if I want to work for Disney. And guess what? After showing that and letting everybody know what that expectation is, about 15% of the people walk out and don't even fill out an application. And that's good. That, it doesn't mean that they're not going to be successful or they're not very good people. It means they don't believe in what you believe in. And when you want to build a culture, you have to find out what you stand for and then surround yourself with people. I'll give you another little funny example. Um, one of my favorite characters is Jimmy the Cricket, right? If you can remember Disney, Jimmy the Cricket is one of my favorite characters. And people think Jimmy the Cricket is just a cute little cricket, uh, but he had an incredible phrase that Walt made sure he created. And the phrase goes like this. Um, when your heart is in your dream, no request is too extreme. Now, in reality, and I'm not very good at this, you sing it, right? When your heart is in your dream, no request is too extreme. And people think that's just a nice little song, but it has meaning. And the meaning is that when, you're, when, you, when your heart's in it, you do it because you want to, not because you have to. And that's what culture is all about. When I do workshops for, for businesses, I ask them, do you want me to just come in and do a, a training session, a shot in the arm, but I know six months later, nothing's gonna change? Or do you want me to work with you and roll up my sleeves and create a culture that sticks? That's the difference.